What's up, Zelda fans? Welcome back to Zonai Test Bench, where I show off builds created by myself and fellow Zelda engineers. If you'd like your creation to be featured in a future video, send them to me over on X at RMFH Gaming. More videos are coming, so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Today I have two Halo-inspired vehicles to show you. Let's get building. The first Halo build I'll be going over is the Warthog, a rather costly machine, yet simple to put together. You'll need 10 Zonai carts, 1 steering stick, 4 big wheels, 3 stakes, 1 construct head, a cannon or beam emitter, and 1 metal pole. Start by placing a stake in the ground as a base for the build. Now begin placing Zonai carts to create the chassis for the hog. Put down one on top of the stake and then take out 4 more carts and place them on top of the first one at a 45 degree angle. After that, place 2 carts at the bottom which will allow you to attach the big wheels. Now take two more carts and place them close to the top of the vehicle in the front and back. Place the final cart on the inside of the hog to create the windshield. Then place the wheels. To finish the build, we'll create a rear rack with a turret. Remove the stake from the bottom of the vehicle and place it in the middle of the windshield. Then attach a metal pole to the end of the stake. From there, place a stake on either side of the metal pole at a 45. With the rack done, slap on a steering stick, grab a construct head, put it in the rear of the vehicle, and then put a weapon of your choice on top of it. You can now mob around Hyrule in the iconic Warthog. With the hog completed, the next Halo vehicle I'll be showing you how to slap together is the Ghost. Funny enough, this build requires the use of phantom clipping, a technique that allows Zonai parts to clip through each other, saving space on builds. We'll need fans for this, so I'll be using the ones at the Big Twin Bridge near the Dueling Peak Stable. Take the fans and create a vehicle with them and start heading towards this point on the map near the Pillars of Levia, and then return to the Big Twin Bridge. This will cause the fans at the bridge to respawn. Grab one of the fans and match it to its counterpart from before. You'll notice that they clip through each other. This is exactly what we're looking for. Attach to the vehicle and repeat the process four more times to get a total of six fans. With all of them collected, drop the remaining parts for the ghost. Seven zone eye sleds, one steering stick, two construct heads, and two beam emitters. Begin by putting down a zone eye sled. Then take your fans and attach them to the middle of it. Now take a second sled and attach it to the top of the first one facing the opposite direction. From that point, make the wings by stacking two sleds on top of each other and placing them on the side of the vehicle. Do this on both sides. With that done, you can mount the housing for the fuselage and place your steering stick. The last thing to add is a weapon system, which is controlled by two construct heads with beam emitters. We'll place these at the front of the vehicle. This version is extremely maneuverable, although it can't make it over rough surfaces. For that, I recommend swapping the bottom sled for a Zonai cart. Of course, it comes with its drawbacks. Switching them out will drastically alter the ghost steering, making it difficult to perform sharp turns. While more complicated than your standard vehicle builds, both the Warthog and Ghost are worth the effort to create. So please give them a try and let me know what you think of them down below. I hope you've had fun with this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next Zonai test bench. I'll leave you with some clips of both the Warthog and Ghost in action. Again, if you'd like your builds featured in a video, submit them to me over on X at RMFH Gaming. May the force be with you.